Hello guys, how's it going today? In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the ultimate bit limit problem with the pseudo flow algorithm implemented in a Python script. So let's jump into it. First of all, we have an economic block model. As you can see, each block has a net value. For example, block 1 and 1 has a negative value of minus 1, the next one as well, and so on and so forth. We only have three positive blocks, 5, 2, and 1. Here we have the angle or sequence constraints. Over here we have the variable cells. And finally we've got the objective function. We can solve this problem by using solver. First we add the objective function. We need to maximize our function. We add the variable cells and then we add the constraints. We've got an ultimate bit limit, as you can see here, and a net value of 3. This problem can be solved by finding the minimum cut in the network flow. In a nutshell, as you know, the pseudo flow algorithm is based on a network flow problem. If we solve the minimum cut problem, voila, we resolve the maximum closure. So, the method to achieve this is by using the labeling algorithm by Foren Fulkerson. Okay, we are going to build the network flow. First off, we need to add two nodes, the source and the sync node, like this. Then we create the arcs. The source node is going to be connected only with the positive blocks like this and the rest is going to be connected to the sync node we add the angle or sequence constraints Then we add the R capacities, which are going to be the block values. 5, 2, 1. These ones are going to have a infinite capacity. And so on and so forth. This one, 1, 1, capacity of 1, 1, capacity of 2. And finally, capacity of 1. Okay, we've got our network flow. This network flow can be represented in, in an adjacency matrix like the following. For example, the source node is going to be connected with block number 2, 3, and 4 with 5, 2, and 1 capacities, respectively. Below we have the adjacency matrix. We can export this adjacency matrix. We copy and we paste it. We add the source node, 0, and the sync node, 11. We export it. We can open it up and we need to delete those extra commas. We save it. So in order to find the minimum cuts in the network flow, we run script number two, which is based on the labeling algorithm by Foren Fulkerson. But first we can get the maximum flow. So we are going to run script number one. We type here CMG. we get a maximum flow of 5. Now we can run the second script to find the minimum cuts. Okay, we've got the minimum cuts.
So now to get the ultimate pit limit, we need to convert the maximum flow solution into the maximum closure. First, we break the saturated arcs, which are the result of finding the minimum cuts. Here we have the saturated arcs 0, 4, 6, 11, 7, 11, 8, 11, and 9, 11. We can mark them over here. And this one. We break the arcs from the source node to the all blocks that cannot afford the overlaying waste values. In this case we have to break an arc from source node to node number 4, this one. Then we search all the nodes that can be reached by the source node. As you can see, the blocks within the, the, the polygon are the maximum closure set or the ultimate bit limit. This is the maximum closure or the ultimate bit limit. So as you can see we have found the ultimate bit limit with the pseudo flow algorithm in the same way as we solved it with solver. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Peace out.